as a ticket buyer on Stellar, the ticket buyer can buy using either just a visible price point, an offer code that unlocks a special price point, or a redemption code that was purchased or earned from a distributor partner, such as EVG, Groupon, TodayTix, or another ticketing provider. Once I've earned my redemption code from the distributor partner by purchase or from a promotion, I'll go to the Stellar Ticket page and choose Select Tickets. Once I've chosen to select tickets, I can see the price points or inventory allotments that are visible to the general public. These can be purchased at any time by adding an inventory grouping and going to checkout. However, in this case, I have a redemption code. I've already purchased a ticket. I just need to enter the code to unlock the special inventory. I'll choose add an offer code and enter the redemption code that I earned from the distributor partner network and click apply code. Once I do that, I'll see this new price point that's been unlocked. A free ticket, since I've already paid for the ticket on the EVG network, and I'll go to add a ticket. If I go to add a second ticket, I'll get a prompt that says only one ticket is allotted per that redemption code. I change my quantity to one, go to check out, I see the summary of my details here, the email address that I'm going to receive my ticket confirmation and direct access to the event at, and an opt-in checkbox if I want to get further marketing communication from this organizer. I'll then click confirm order, and my purchase is confirmed. My ticket is in my wallet, and I can access it at any time via the Stellar Tickets website or via my email. Customers are not restricted to just one redemption code. A customer can enter an unlimited number of redemption codes so long as they have acquired them from a distribution source during this checkout process, and each redemption code could unlock a specific offer tied to that code. Set up redemption codes for any distribution partner such as Groupon, EBG, TodayTix, or the like. The first thing you'll have to do is set up your distribution codes or batch codes. You'll do this via the marketing tab. Once in the marketing tab, you'll see a section labeled redemption code batches. This is where you will generate a batch of tickets with corresponding redemption codes that you'll then send to the distribution partners for sales on their channels. To generate a new batch of redemption codes, click Generate Batch. You'll want to name the batch. A name is a thing you'll want to use as a label for you and your colleagues in referencing what this redemption code grouping or batch is for. After giving the batch a name, you'll want to give the batch a source label. This should just be one word or several words all put together that are similar to an affiliate code. A short and sweet source name is great, such as EBG in this example. Next, you'll want to give the batch a quantity number. This is the number of redemption codes that will be generated in this batch. You can customize that number however you want. The default set is 100. Finally, you'll want to designate a possible expiration date if you want the redemption codes to not work after a period of time, along with the time and time zone for the expiration. All of this is optional as the label says. We'll go ahead and leave this blank for now. Once you generate your batch, you'll see it here in the available redemption code batches. You can see I already created a Groupon test in this example, and I have that test expiring at January 29th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, also with a quantity of 100. To then access your batch of redemption code tickets, 
click the batch name. This will load all of the unique redemption codes in the dashboard that you also can export as a CSV spreadsheet. Clicking export, customize the report however you want, and when you're happy with the filters, click export. Feel free to close the pop-up as the report will be sent to your email address. The process of viewing how redemption codes are redeemed is currently also done in the marketing tab. In the Groupon example here, you can see that the first redemption code has been redeemed and the status has been marked redeemed. Any redemption codes that are marked unredeemed, you have the ability to void or delete if you so choose. To send a specific redemption code to any distribution outlet you want, you can actually click the clipboard icon copy to copy this redemption code to your clipboard and then paste it into whatever program you need to send it to the distribution partner. At the top of the screen, you can see the date that the redemption codes are expiring, the label of the redemption codes or the source label, and the running counter of how many codes have been redeemed compared to how many were created in the first place. Only one redemption code has been redeemed in this example, so you see that one out of 100 have been redeemed. After creating your redemption code batch that you wanna use for a specific price point or ticket you wanna sell, the next step will be adding this redemption code to a specific price point in the event that you want to use with a distribution partner. You will click events, click on the event that you want to edit, click on the specific performance or show date for the event, and then go to either add a new inventory item to associate with that batch or edit an existing inventory item and associate it with that redemption code batch. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll add a completely new inventory group. We'll say that this ticket is both for a live stream and video on demand, that the inventory quantity is actually limited, and we'll limit it to the exact same number that we gave redemption codes for, 100. For a name, we'll call this EBG Special Live Stream Price. After you've named your inventory, you can ask additional checkout questions that can go after the customer has selected the ticket to buy. So even with a redemption code, you still can collect further data and information on the customer to help with merchandise fulfillment, to add to your customer data collection, really anything you want. These checkout questions are the presets, but if there are other questions or data that you want to collect from the customer after they enter the redemption code, just contact our team and we'll happily assist. Once you're happy with what's set up, click Submit. After creating the inventory, I'll then go to create a price point. This price point is what will be unlocked once the redemption code is entered into the checkout flow. Since we'll want the complete purchase to happen on a distribution partner program such as EBG, the price point in this case should be free. Feel free to name the price point anything you want. This is what will display to the customer along with the name of the inventory itself. The next step will be choosing the access. So by default, the access for a price point is open, meaning that nothing else is needed to unlock the price. It's public and available to anyone that comes to the event ticketing page. If you want any price point to be gated or hidden until someone puts in a code of some sort, we have offer codes that are used to unlock special pricing available to anyone with the offer code or redemption code. Redemption code is what we want. Using a redemption code is a one-to-one -one relationship. Once someone enters a redemption code, that is the only time that that code can be used and it expires. After choosing requires a redemption code, you'll then select the redemption code batch that you wanna associate with this price point. We'll go ahead and choose the EBG example we just created. Finally, 
if you want to restrict the amount of tickets that someone can buy once they enter the redemption code, you would change that amount for the max group size. In this case, we'll choose just one ticket is allowed per redemption code that's entered. After you've checked your work and seen the date that the price point would become visible at, on sale and off sale, just like a normal price point, if you're happy, click Submit. With inventory and price points with a redemption code, you still can take advantage of Stellar's other features, such as the donation add-on purchase and the ability to add merchandise as well.